Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get to the Great Hollow, Ash Lake and subsequently join the Dragon Covenant. So from the Blight Town Bonfire, take a left and you will see this thing glowing in the distance. Now do not worry about poison as long as you've got your Estus Flasks. You can find a large soul of a proud knight here. Now keep following this walkway around and just in the distance you will find a gnarled route leading upwards. Now that is your destination, that is where you want to head to. So you want to sprint and once you head to the top of that route you'll find a chest which contains some twin humanities. But if you strike your sword at the wall you'll find that it is actually an invisible wall. So head all the way through this new invisible wall area and find a ladder. Climb down this ladder and you will find the Great Hollow Bonfire. From there guys you want to roll down like so here. Now. The Great Hollow is just a, a giant tree guys, it's a giant dead tree and it's a lot of rolling and a lot of careful stepping. So take care at all times and make sure you follow the guide on screen perfectly. So you want to drop down here guys, Esther's up whenever you need to otherwise you will risk dying with your next drop. So if you don't want to walk all the way down which I don't suggest it because it's treacherous and you take the long route down follow this guide as you see on screen it's a lot of rolling and it's a lot of careful placement but as you can see what I'm trying to do with the camera here guys is show you the area in its entirety I want you guys to be able to actually picture and place yourself when you're going through the Great Hollow just by watching this guide and that is what I'm aiming to achieve and I really hope for the, for the educational value of this guide that it works to a T. Now I have used this guide myself just to test it out and it seems to be working quite well. As long as you're following it on screen you should be doing fine. Basically guys the key to success here is to look down. Now if you look down you will see platforms. Now obviously you can't walk down to these platforms so what you have to do is drop and roll. Therefore, it's a good idea to have at least 10 Estus Flasks, as it, there is a lot of dropping and rolling. Once you get to this guy here, this is where it gets a little easier. You'll find a blue Titanite chunk. Now, simply run ahead and you'll find yourself on a slope. Now, this is where the angle gets brilliant, because you can see, at right at the bottom, that is where you want to be. That ladder is the way back up if you have not yet visited An Orlando and got the teleportation device. So once you see the blue Titanite chunk, drop down here guys. Now you can just ro walk all the way around or you can drop to the bottom and use an Estus Flask. Beware as you've just aggroed a lot of cursed frogs. So what you want to do, you can see the ladder there. You don't want to go down it just yet. What you want to do is run around and aggro all of these cursed frogs. Then you want to get on the ladder. You get down just enough guys, don't let yourself get cursed, but get down quick enough, but do not go all the way to the bottom. Wait, and the cursed frogs from above will drop and fall, giving you a few hundred souls for free. They will be dead, of course, which is very easy for going back upwards in a short while. So guys, what you want to do is avoid all the cursed cloud, do not worry about it. Drop down quickly and swiftly. You'll stun these frogs here, then you want to run around. Do not stand and fight and do not let yourself get attacked guys. Just run around, do not worry about that soul item in the distance either. Instead find the route down. Walk all the way down this route guys and avoid the cursed frogs at all, uh, all times but do not lose your footing. This is where it gets very crucial and very very dangerous. So do not lose your footing. It's literally a spiral staircase of sorts leading down and you will then find yourself on these mushroom houses. The same thing guys, spiral, avoid these giant mushroom things and you will then get to the fog door here. Going through this fog door will bring you to Ash Lake. Now this is exactly where we want to be. You will notice here guys one of the best soundtracks that the Dark Souls game has to offer in my opinion it's probably my favourite track now from Ash Lake guys again use careful footing but there's not really much that will kill you here other than the water and it's important to not go left just yet because you will find the Black Hydra now that enemy is so very difficult so take a left here and you'll find yourself on some sand dunes with a brilliant view in the distance You'll notice that not many people leave messages here because this is one of the secret areas in the game. 
So light this bonfire, rest at this bonfire. Then from here guys, what you want to do is equip your grass crest shield and remove all of your armor and weaponry. Keep your Estus flasks equipped though. Then from the bonfire, head straight ahead and you will see at the top of this sand dune the Hydra in the distance. Now avoid that Hydra, he will one hit you if you let him and that's not what you want to do. Seek some quick refuge in this log. Now let your stamina heal whenever you like guys, it's crucial that you let your stamina heal when it's needed because this part of the guide is all running and all avoiding the Hydra, we cannot kill that Hydra at all. Now from that log stay at the water's edge. Be careful not to go in the water just yet however as there are hidden drops that will kill you and teleport you back to the bonfire. Run around this rock and you'll see a clam in the distance and the Hydra has just jumped. Now it's important to not slow down guys. Keep your stamina healing, avoid that clam and you will see another splash just here. That is indeed the Hydra following us. Now we do not want to let that Hydra catch up to us. Stay at the water's edge but also on the sand. You do not want to get too close to that Hydra guys. At this sand dune here, do not go down into that hollow as there are more cursed frogs. Do not fall here. Instead, stay to the top as close as possible. And you will then see a curved path in the distance. That explosion just there is indeed the Hydra attacking us. And again, we do not want to let him hit us. Be careful when walking through here guys, but it's important to stay in the water otherwise the Hydra will kill you. Again, you'll see another clam, do not worry. But more importantly guys, keep an eye on your footing at all times when you're running through this lake as there are hidden pits. If, again, if you like, much like the Great Hollow, if you follow the guide as you see on screen, you will not have a problem. I just nearly fell off there and that wouldn't have been pleasant. So what you want to do guys is literally you have to stay in the water otherwise the Hydra kills you. But you can follow the path using your eyes. But also keep your eyes on the water at all times. I cannot stress that enough. Once you're at this point here guys, you are alright. The Hydra will not get you at this point anyway, as soon as you get through this treed, treed archway. You'll see trees on either side, that's when you're safe. So if you want, you can slow down, but I just wouldn't recommend it, because you never know when the Hydra is going to get a cheeky water blast in, and it's going to kill you and ruin everything. Eventually, you will see the bonfire in the distance, and that's exactly what we want. Hooray! So, rest at this bonfire, guys. Ah... <sighs> Take a sigh of relief, you've just traversed the Great Hollow, Ash Lake, and now you've joined the Dragon Covenant. So what you want to do guys is press A to pray to the Everlasting Dragon and enter the Dragon Covenant. And he will give you the Dragon Stone, Dragon Headstone, and the Dragon Eye. Now the Dragon Headstone will enable you to morph your head into a dragon and subsequently breathe fire, which uses up your stamina. It's quite a powerful attack and it can come in handy when you least expect it. So that's it for today guys, uh, we've traversed the Great Hollow, we've gone through Ash Lake and we've joined the Dragon Covenant. As always guys, thumbs up, subscribe and I really hope you enjoy my videos. All the best guys.